Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Shabrest Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the duality or a dual of a primal. So if you look at this question on the board, we are asked to find the dual or duality. So and the primal given is what max, which is mean the maximum, then z, which is the objective function, 30x1 plus 20x2, subject to x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 9, then 3x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 8, x1 and x2 is greater than 0. Before we move further to solve this question, the first two conditions we are going to know is that when a problem is given in a maximum, so it's going to be what less than or equal to, then if it is minimum, it's going to be what greater than or equal to. So we are going to know these two conditions. So if you look at this problem, it's given in maximum. Then we check whether this problem is in the correct form. So maximum, and if you look at it, less than, less than. So therefore, this problem is in the correct form. And now we can wait ahead and find the duality. Now to find the duality, we write dual here. The next thing we are going to know, if the problem, the primal given is in the maximum form, then the duality is going to be the minimum. And similarly, if the problem, the, the primal given is in the minimum form, then the dual is going to be maximum. So if you look at this problem, it's in the maximum form. So our duality is going to be minimum. Now we're going to find the objective function. So if you look at the objective function given in the primal, is z is equal to, now we're going to differentiate them. We're going to use another variable to, to represent the objective function of a dual. So let's use variable p which is going to be equal to, now the next thing, we are going to form two variables. That two variable because we are given two equations. If the equation is three, then we form three equations. Then we are going to, our focus here is going to be on the right hand side. We are going to use this right hand side to form our objective function. So the first number here is nine. Then we use, we can form any two variables. Let's use variable y. So we name it y1. Then plus, the second right hand side is 8. Then we add 8, y, 2. So we have formed the objective function. So this is going to be what? Subject, subject to, now here, we are going to use this coefficient. Coefficient, but our variable is going to be what? Y and Y. This is the new variable, two variable we form. So we are going to use the coefficient of this, which is 1 and 3. And remember, this column is going to be the role of dual and also similarly the column here is going to be the second role of dual so the variable the coefficient here is one so this is going to be subject to y1 then plus theory y2 which is greater than or equal to here is less than but here in dual in minimum mini, minimization is going to be what greater than then what is going to be our right hand side then it's going to be our objective function from the primal, which is what? 30. Now, to get the second equation, we use this column also. The coefficient here is 2, then y1, then plus the next is 2, 2 also, 2y2, which is greater than or equal to 20 from the objective function, 20. So, which variable we use? Y. So, in place of X, S here is going to be what? Y1, Y2 is greater than or equal to 0. And here is the dual of this problem. If it is maximization, we minimize. And if it is less than or equal to, less than or equal to, it must be maximization. And in a situation whereby this place is greater than, or one of these is greater than, and we have another equation less than, we are going to write the constraint in a correct form. In our next video, we are going to look at example that the given problem is not in the correct form. We change it to correct form then before we find the duality. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.